I made a mistake. Next up is something of an emotional spend. I thought, perfect, this will fit him great. Nope, that matching Christmas PJ family. Is it necessary? No, not whatsoever. Hi everyone, it's Hannah Ross. Welcome back to my channel. So today is my fifth low buy update, one of the last ones in the year, and it is for September and October. And my friends, we finally did it. We, we had a super successful two months. In total, we spent $290 on essentials, non-essentials, and gifts. And if you've seen any of these videos, you know the essentials category means actual stuff brought into the home that doesn't make this very specific curated list that are like ongoing things that I always buy. So I'm not gonna record toothpaste, but if I need a kitchen utensil that broke, well, that's kind of a one-time only spend. So yes, I will track that coming into the house. So like I said, 290 was the total, which I'm very happy with, by the way. But let's break it down category by category. So non-essential spending. I don't need this stuff whatsoever to survive. I spent $130 these past two months. On essentials, I spent $39. And on gifts, $121. But now let's get into the second part of the video, which is the most fun part. It is show and tell time. I'm going to show you everything that I bought these past two months. Let's get into it and start with the most fun category, non-essentials. All right, and the first thing that I spent money on was a new bathing suit, just a plain black bathing suit. This one was from American Eagle and it cost $48. Now for me, that's actually a really good price. I find it a little bit difficult sometimes to find bathing suits, especially that hit all of my criteria and this one did it. And you know what? It's so close almost to being an essential because I live in Cancun, Mexico. I wear a bathing suit every single darn day. But again, theoretically, I just can't put anything like clothing, bathing suits, accessories in the essentials category. I just can't do it. So it has to stay non-essential for me. But let me tell you, I needed a new bathing suit. <laughs> My other one was destroyed. You know when chlorine starts to eat at a bathing suit? Yeah, well, it was almost in shreds my last bathing suit. It was so terrible. So I desperately needed something new. And I only own three bathing suits in total. So I didn't have another like bikini style option to go to. So yeah, this one absolutely hit all the criteria that I look for in a bathing suit, was a decent price. And I'm very, very happy with it. Totally good with spending this intentional money on a swimsuit. Next up is something of an emotional spend, I guess. It's related to Halloween outfits. I personally am not really like super big into Halloween, but two things. A, my husband is very big into Halloween. He loves it. It's like one of his favorite holidays. And number two, we have a baby now. So we have to find like a cool family costume. And our little baby looks exactly like Jack Jack from The Incredibles so I had to spend some money on a Halloween costume I got these two items for $38 definitely spent some money on you know a Halloween outfit is it necessary no absolutely not whatsoever so of course it's going in you know non-essential spending but still actually fairly intentional and i mean it's a cute halloween costume i am more than happy to spend a few bucks to have a wonderful night with my family and the next thing i spent money on i'm actually a little disappointed in and that is an outfit for my son and it was $14 from H&M. So again, my son does have other outfits that he could wear. So I don't think that this is essential whatsoever. But the reason why I'm disappointed is because I was specifically going to look for something with buttons all the way down. I really don't like having to put, you know, outfits over his head. So I really wanted to find something with buttons all the way down. And I was way too quick. I was rushed in the store and the buttons actually only stop right here. I thought they went all the way, but they stop right here. So it's a little more convenient, but it's not super convenient where the buttons go all the way down the leg. These also <laughs> squish my baby's thighs a little bit with this elasticated band so it's not a you know perfect hit but it's a good reminder that if I'm rushed and I'm not super intentional I'm probably not going to get like the best thing for my money so definitely okay with it not a big deal 14 bucks but it's a little bit of a miss and speaking of miss 
I made a mistake with my little baby's Christmas outfit and that caused me to spend $30 on a replacement outfit. It's a long story short, but I originally got this for my little baby in a size six to nine months. My baby's gonna be just six months at Christmas, so I thought, perfect, this will fit him great. Nope, he is already growing out of some things that are six to nine months, okay? He's a big baby. So <laughs> I had to get him something different. It's on the way in the mail, that's why I don't have it right now. I had to get him a bigger size and I had to get like a shirt and pant combo for him, which is why it cost $30. And similarly to the Halloween outfit, this is definitely like an emotional spend. We all have this white tartan, you know, Christmas pajama look going on in our family. So of course I had to bring my baby into it as well. And it was just so silly because I couldn't end up returning this one. We had passed the window. So I just had to spend some extra money, 30 bucks to be, <laughs> to be that family, that matching Christmas PJ family you know, on the 25th. So I am still going to put him in this one, you know, up until Christmas, up until he absolutely cannot wear it whatsoever. But after that, he's going to have to wear the one that was, you know, a little bit bigger of a size. So that is actually it for the non-essential spending. And the vast majority of that was like stuff for my baby and or holiday matching outfits for some reason. So that was definitely an interesting category, but let's head now to essentials. And the first one that I have to talk about are earplugs that I got for $27. They're this like new type of earplug that kind of has a little hole in the middle there. And yeah, they just do a really good job at, you know, filtering some noise. And to be honest, these were a necessity just because of sleeping with my baby. My baby makes a lot of noises during the night. So for me to be able to get a good sleep in between feeds, I needed some earplugs and I invested a little bit more into them and my oh my, I'm so happy that I did because they're really good quality, they do the job, but they also, this is gonna sound really weird, they had a whole bunch, like in this um, container, there was a whole bunch of different sizes for the actual like earbud part. And that's very important for me because I'm always like the teeny, teeny, tiniest size for my ears. I need the bud to be like so small and this one had an extra small option. So 27 bucks might seem like an astronomical amount for earplugs to you, which I totally understand. But for me, absolutely well worth it and definitely falls into the essentials category. Okay, and next up in the essentials category is this cutie little baby teether for $14. I can't believe it, but I'm pretty sure Sure my baby is teething already which is wild to me and he just really likes to chew on this toy here it's one of those ones that you know he can put his little hand into and it doesn't fall off so yeah this one was a really really great buy super super happy that we did purchase this and absolutely an essential because we didn't have any other teether that would work for him at his age and developmental stage right now so absolutely an essential super happy that we bought this one all right and that was actually it for the essentials category so now we're moving on to the last category which is gifts and a small side note I'm an early Christmas shopper, so I actually have already purchased some Christmas gifts, and I of course will purchase some in November and December as well, but I am not going to include these in the no buy. I do a completely separate budgeting system for my Christmas gifts. This is just extra gifts beyond that. So the first one that I have to talk about is my sibling's birthday gift for $50. I bought them two passes so that they could go with a friend to do some bouldering. I thought that would be fun, so that was a gift for my sibling. And and then my best friend from home, I sent her some flowers for her birthday, which cost $37. And then for my mom, I spent $34. I split a gift with my sibling and we got her like a tow rope. She really likes to water ski and kneel board. So that was definitely a practical gift for her. And that was actually it for the gift category for these past two months. So let's just briefly go over the categories again. Non-essential spending, I spent $130. Essential spending, $30. And that gift category, 121. So that is a total of $290 for two months with a new baby 
with, you know, <laughs> a lot of little baby Christmas outfits and some Halloween outfits. So all in all, I think that is pretty darn good. I said this to my husband the other day, but we're really like getting into the swing of things. Sometimes, you know, when there's a big life change, like us moving to Mexico or us having a baby, you can spend a lot of money, you know, throughout those few months. But after a few months, things start to settle and they get more regular and you get back to your budget. And that's how I'm feeling right now. And to be honest, it does feel kind of good to be in this phase right now where I'm not having, you know, as many financial surprises I like things to be a little bit more consistent and predictable life is never always like that but I'm going to appreciate the season that I'm in right now and if we can save a little bit of money that would be great so that was my fifth low buy update for the year all of my spending for all of September and all of October combined. And of course, I really hope that you enjoy following along with me on my low buy journey. And if you are doing a low buy or no buy or something of the sort, let me know how it's going for you in the comments down below. I would absolutely love to hear from you. Well, anyways, my friends, just thank you so much for being here. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you like the content that I'm producing in general. And I'll see you in my next minimalism video. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.